going to be in standard tuning with no capo. It's going to be mostly based around power chords, so it's uh, pretty easy as far as snail mail goes. It's going to start, the main first part of the verse is going to move from a G to a B power chord, which if you don't know what that is, to s usually it's going to be uh, 3, 5, 5, and 7, 9, 9. But the first time through the verse, she's not including the, um, the octave there. It's just going to be 3, 5, the rest of the string's muted, and 7, 9, the rest of the string's muted. So all downstrokes. You want it all. Superstar. And down there, you're just moving your first finger uh, down to the second, up to the third, all downstrokes. Jesus died. Back up to 7 9. Just to save you. And then after that, we're going to go into real power chords. So you're going to go to an A power chord, 5 7 7. Down, up, mute. Up, down, up, mute. Uh, move to an E power chord, uh, muted low E string. Starting on the A string, you're going to go 7, 9, 9. Make sure all the rest of your strings are muted somehow. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, I'm going to go through the, the verse one time slowly. And just know for the second part of the verse, the guitar part repeats exactly. So you want it all. Actually, it should be 7, 9. You want it all. Seven nine, uh, three five, not three five five. Y'all know what I mean. Just do the little first and fifth only. You want it all, superstar. Jesus died just to save you. repeat exactly except this time you're going to do the full power chord from the start so three five five instead of three five so walk me down Hollywood Boulevard get me high in the hotel room exactly the same you're just going to start with full power chords from the jump and then you go right into the chorus which is you own Etc. So start off on that uh, that B power chord seven nine nine all downstrokes. Um, to a D power chord mute the low E string starting from the A five seven seven. Me all downstrokes one more time. You own me. I could never hurt you, my love. You know. So starting from there. Uh, you're gonna go you're gonna bar from the fifth fret on or not fifth fret fifth string on the seventh fret you're gonna bar that uh, your middle finger is going to go on the eighth fret b string and your third finger is going to go on the ninth fret d string so it should be barred with uh those two notes fretted you're gonna go down up down up down up mute you go back to this 799 uh, B power chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, mute. So. Back to this D power chord, mute 577. Seven. Downstrokes again. To this chord. Uh, fifth fret, low E string on your, with your middle finger. Fourth fret, A string with your first finger. Seventh fret, D string with your pinky. Don't strum the last three so so all together slowly the chorus you owe me you owe me i could never hurt you my love you know me and this isn't like structural but when she's playing those chords at the end she's crescendoing each time so you start this quieter and get louder if you want to play with some dynamics you know you can throw it in so right from there she goes straight into the solo <clears throat> which i am going to go over uh first i'm going to go over 
the backing chords to the solo. It's just going to be G to B power chords three times in a row. Like none of the. She doesn't linger on that G. She just goes. Three times in a row, just like that. And then she's going to go on this A, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute. That exact same part from the verse should be very familiar to you. So that's what's going on under the solo. The actual solo is pretty fun. I'll, I'll try and get through it as best I can first, and then I'll show you how to play it. So it's... So to start off, um, <clears throat> it's just a lot of, you know, alternate picking eighth notes with slides, so. Super easy. You're going to start on the seventh fret with your middle finger. Important that you start off with your middle finger on the D string. And you're going to slide right up to the ninth fret. One and two and three and four and. And then slide up to the eleventh. With your third finger, you're going to go down to the 12th fret A string for the last three. First couple bars, and then measures, I should say. And then from there, you're going to keep your third finger 12th fret A string and hit it one more time while you slide down. So slide it down to the 9th fret. D string. So all together we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then you go into. Which is super fun. So starting from this note. First, uh, first finger, seventh fret D string. You're gonna go third finger, ninth fret D string. First finger, sixth fret G string. Second finger, seventh fret G string. Third finger, bit of a stretch. It's easier to do it with your third finger than to do it with the pinky, but if you must do it with the pinky, you may. Uh, on the ninth fret of the G string, so. Or small-handed friends I shouldn't hate the pinky's totally fine there I just prefer to play with the third finger so all together so we have that and then you're gonna go to seventh fret on the B string Hammer on and pull off to the 8th fret. And then with your 3rd finger, you're going to go to the ninth fret G string. Your 1st uh, finger should still be on the 7th fret B string. Hit it again. Ninth fret G string again. That's that part. So all together. So from there, you're gonna go first finger on the seventh fret G string, up to the ninth fret G string, with your third finger. And then from there, you can take your first finger off and put it on the seventh fret B string and then alternate that. So after you do that twice, 
you're gonna hit the uh, seventh fret B string again. Lift your third finger or your pinky, I guess. I think Lindsay does do this with the third finger though. Uh, you're gonna put that on the tenth fret of the B string. And you're gonna move your first finger down to the high E string, seventh fret. You're gonna hit the B string three more times. Rest. So I'm gonna go through that whole sort of part again because I know that was a lot, so. After that, you're going to, optionally, you could have had this finger down the whole time, but most of the time I put it down here, you're gonna take your middle finger and put it on the ninth fret G string. You're gonna, you're gonna alternate uh, B string to G string to B string. So that whole phrase is. And then you're going to go right into, you're going to move your first finger uh, from the E string 7th fret back down to the B string 7th fret. You're going to leave your middle finger exactly where it is on the 9th fret G string. You're going to move your 3rd finger down to the 9th fret E string. So you should have. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna go B, E, B, G, B, E, B, G strings. Before we get into that, uh, the fun slide part, I will just go over very slowly the solo that we learned so far. So then the fun part, you're going to take all your fingers off except for your middle finger on the ninth fret G string, slide it up to the 11th fret. I just totally had a stroke. All right, back. You're gonna go from the ninth to the 11th Strum it, then slide it. Two distinct notes. And then you're gonna bar the B and E strings with your first finger and go E then B. On the 10th fret, I should say. And then you're going to pluck the B string, or the, the G string, which should be on the 11th fret. Slide it up to the 16th on the G string and then hit the uh, 14th on the height E string. Fun part. All right, so that's the solo. I'm gonna play it all together, medium speed, so you can sort of put some parts together. That's the solo, and then after that she goes right back into a verse, which is gets cold. Move to Malibu. This is gonna be just another full verse, exactly the same as the first verse, except for uh move to Malibu. She says make them go down smooth instead of this A. It's gonna be the D. So 
So you're basically gonna take this normal power chord, which you go, make them go down smooth. Instead of doing that, you're gonna do the mute five seven seven. And then there's another part of the verse where she does not do that. So you wanna make them hurt, superstar. It's straight into the double chorus, etc. Just like that, it just transitions right into another chorus. And the way you end the song is you just do the normal end of the chorus. So please let me know if you have any questions. That's glory. Uh, the final structure is going to be verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus, chorus. So that is how you play glory. Let me know if you have any questions. I feel like I've repeated everything 12 times, but that might just be paranoia. And good luck to you guys.